Do you ever wonder why JavaScript is so hard to understand? Why was HTML and CSS so much more easier to understand, but the moment I got to JavaScript, I just felt like I was stuck. I'm gonna go ahead and explain it right after this video. See you guys after the intro. What is up YouTube? Today, I'm actually trying to do something a little different. Uh, today, what I want to do something is called Three Minute Thursdays, where I make it a goal to answer a question that someone asks within three minutes. And so what I want to do right now is I actually want to answer why is JavaScript so hard to learn? What makes it so different compared to HTML and CSS? I'm going to go ahead and make it a goal to do this in three minutes, man. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. JavaScript is a hard language to talk about, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's begin this right now. So the question is, why is JavaScript so hard to learn? What makes it so di Oh, I have my AirPod on. Oh my gosh. All right. Why is JavaScript so hard to learn? What makes it so different from everything else? Well, what makes JavaScript so much more different compared to other languages? For example, a lot of people who go into front of development, the first two languages they learn aren't actually programming languages. HTML and CSS, what are they? They are markup languages that are used to just make that page. But JavaScript is a programming language. And what do I mean by this? Uh, learning JavaScript, I guess you could say it's similar, but it's also not similar to learning Spanish or let's say you're learning French or learning something like that. Why is because when you look, when it comes to learning JavaScript, what you're learning is something that is used to speak through a computer. So you could technically say, what is it that you're learning right now or what you're trying to learn when you're learning JavaScript? It's that you're learning how to speak to a computer. You're learning a computer language. You're learning something where you need to tell the computer or the browser what to do. This is what makes JavaScript so hard because when you're learning HTML and CSS, it's very simple. You know, in HTML, you're building the DOM using divs, using labels, using a body, using simple elements like a paragraph element, span element, a text area element, whatever you want to call it. When it comes to CSS, you're simply targeting, targeting a class or an ID or an element and you're telling it be this color, do this. When you reach this certain height, do this, do that. You're making it mobile friendly. But JavaScript is used to make something alive. JavaScript is used to make your website very easy to use, functional, make it really fun to use, and interactive as well. And honestly, one of the reasons I think that JavaScript is one of the hardest languages to learn, or why it can be very different, is because JavaScript, number one, it requires logic to learn. You need to be able to think logically. You need to be able to see from the computer's perspective why you need this to do that. Why is that when you click on this button and if this value equals this or if this value equals that, it does this. You have to really see, when you work at JavaScript, you have to be able to see it from the perspective of a computer, which makes it very hard because that's not how we're thought to think. We're very thought to think very differently. And I guess you could say in regards to just, you know, you see things in front of you, but when it comes to computer languages, you have to really see it in a way that will help the computer understand what you want it to do. But last but not least, to give you some words of encouragement before this ends, is that when it comes to JavaScript, yes, it is hard to learn, but it's very much worth it. JavaScript is where the money is at. JavaScript is where the jobs are at. When it comes to front-end developers, JavaScript, when you learn React, you'll get a job in a matter of maybe six months, if not a year. But you have to think about it, going from making 20 or 30K a year to 70 or 80K a year within this short amount of time frame, it's not normal. So the fact that we get to do this is huge. So don't give up, keep coding. Hope you guys enjoy this. So that's it, my JavaScript in three minutes. So if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Krishan, this is Life of a Developer. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.